Hello everybody! So now we come to a brand new book. For the next 24 days we shall be reading the book of Luke together. This book, along with its companion Acts, was dedicated to Theophilus, who we believe was a Roman governor. Luke himself was a physician and he was a Gentile and for many years he was also Paul's companion. The aim in writing this book and its companion Acts was to give a clear depiction of the life of Jesus and the early church. I'm going to choose just one section to share with you today and it's the thing that jumped out at me the most as I was reading it and it's about Zachariah. Zachariah and Elizabeth were getting on in years and Elizabeth was barren. She could not have children. In fact, it was physically impossible in human terms for her to have a child. And yet, Angel Gabriel came to Zachariah and said, your wife Elizabeth shall be with child. Now, Zachariah, rather than jumping up and down in excitement and praise, actually questions and said, how can I be sure of this? And as the story unfolds, we know that Zachariah was unable to speak until the birth of John. And I just wonder how many times in our life does this happen? God promises to us the thing that our hearts desire, the thing that we're trying to seek the most. And rather than praising God and saying thank you, we step back and we say to God, how can I be sure? How can I trust you? How can I believe what you're saying? And I just really want to encourage us all today to read back over our journals, to look at prayers which have been sent to us and remember those words that God has spoken over your life, those truths that have been said to you. Believe in them, hold on to them. God's word is always true. He never fails us. His promises will come to happen in our lives. And sometimes, like Zachariah and Elizabeth, we have to wait far longer than we would wish. And other times it seems humanly impossible for these things to come to fruition. But if God has promised it, it shall happen. So believe in God's word and his promises to you, church. Have a great day.